All right, we are counting down to tomorrow's first football game at SoFi Stadium with fans in the stand. The players, these kids who are part of the Beach City Sports Youth Flag Football League, which has been around, by the way, for almost 15 years. Well, COVID wiped out their 2020 season, so the league wanted to do something special this year, and they have. Their championship game is tomorrow night at the brand new SoFi Stadium. How cool is that? One of the head coaches is Heisman Trophy winner Matt Leinert from the University of Southern California. The other is Brett Zabrowski. They each coach their son's teams and they join us now live. Welcome to you both. Uh, Matt, let's start with you. Good to see you. Uh, Good to see is, you too, bud. And, and I love that your, your team's name is the Trojans. Uh, <laughs> so what does this mean to you? What does this mean to the kids to have football back in front of a crowd and to be able to watch your son play? Yeah, I mean, this is it, it's such a great job uh, from our league, the BCS, just to give these kids an opportunity, and just an incredible experience. I mean, talking about SoFi Stadium where the Rams play an NFL team, uh, you guys just talked about there hasn't been a game yet in that stadium. So to be the first games, our league with all the divisions to be out there for this community and for these kids, it's just it's such an incredible experience. No matter what happens for all of these teams, they'll have that memory forever. And uh, and Brett would say this too. Brett and I have been coaching this league since our boys were, I mean, gosh, six years old, you know, and they're all 14, you know, 13, 14 years old now. So to see them all grow up, to get this opportunity this year because of COVID last year where, uh, you know, we didn't get a chance to play sports. The kids didn't get, didn't get a chance to play sports. You know, how fitting is it that we get to end the season, you know, in the Rams stadium with, with fans there? I know, I know. You know, there's a big push in the community here in the South Bay to get a lot of fans out there to support these kids, support the teams throughout the day. Um, so I, I'm just fired up to be a part of it. It's been, it's Brett and I always talk, man. It's been, it's always a stressful season coaching your kids because you want them <laughs> to do well. But you know, to get to this point, um, and 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 you know, to play to play Brett and his team, which is a phenomenal team, a really great football team. Uh, it's going to be so fun for the kids. You know, there's a lot of great athletes on this field for this game, uh, yeah. a lot of great competitors, and so uh, it'll be fun. Including your your son, Cole, who's 14 years old and 6'2", 6'3". Uh, <laughs> uh, you brought up the fact that they've been playing together since they were six years old. You have a friendly rivalry going on. This is extra special, too, because they aged out right when COVID hit. And so they lost their season. They didn't think they'd be able to play their final season. So, Brett, talk about how extra special this really is. Yeah, so um, so my son Austin actually started when he was four. And I convinced the league to let him play if I coached. That's how I got into coaching, by the way. And, and so we started off in this dust bowl field out in Hermosa Beach. And the games were, were really dusty. No grass would grow over there. And I've coached every season. My son's played every season, every spring, every fall. Um, amazing talent, by the way. We have guys in the NFL right now, guys starting Division One. So our league is very, very competitive. I mean, you got guys like Matt out there uh, coaching, tons of ex-NFL guys. And um, last spring was our last season, and that's where the kids age out and then they move on to tackle or you know away from football. And the season got canceled because of COVID. And so we got together, you know, the other commissioners said, well, let's do a fall, special fall season for these kids, let them come back. And then the fall season was canceled. So we came back in the spring and we finally had a season. And, you know, what's funny, if you look at that video, that's the first game that we played. We played the very first game of the season because of COVID, our jerseys didn't even arrive. So we had double <laughs> headers, games that got canceled because, you know, field space. And so, and our league is amazing. Our president, vice president, everybody, they've worked through everything. And then all of a sudden you start with this season canceled, season canceled, no jerseys, no field space, games canceled, double headers, moving games around. And then they say, oh, and by the way, yeah, you're going to play your Super Bowl in a $5 billion stadium. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just, it's just insane. That's, which that's is, a which, big BTW. Which is literally the home of the Super Bowl this year. Uh, so, it is. So, it, it, let, let's it's, hear, it's surreal. Let, let's, yeah. let's do a little t trash talking here. Uh, 15, 20 <laughs> seconds each. Why is your team going to win? Matt, let's start with you. Well, listen, I don't like to do predictions. Um, I, I will say this. Brett has beaten us twice already this year. So... I cannot say a word. Um, I'm not going to bring up the pass because the pass that we played in the Super Bowl a couple years ago, uh, we edged them out, but this is a new season. So 
uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let the boys play and they're going to, they're going to play. I mean, I'm telling you, and Brett would say the same thing. I'm telling you guys, this is a highly competitive game with, with great athletes playing in this age group. Um, but we're going to, we're going to have our hands full. It's going to be a challenge for us, but, um, you know, Brett and I, it's, it's funny. I want to tell a quick story. I texted Brett before the season. Cause I was, I was all out of coaching guys. I was, I was ready. I'm, I'm, I've gotten a lot of gray hair from this league from coaching football. <laughs> yeah. And I texted Brett. I said, dude, are you coaching or what's happening? And he's like, yeah, come on. It'll be fun. And my, my son and his friends begged me to coach. I, I really, I, I didn't want to, I just was like, you know, I've had, I had two babies now. Like, I'm just kind of like, you know, I was like, all right, I'm, I'm letting my son now go off to the next stage. And, we got a team in, and and sure enough, now Brett and I are facing off in the Super Bowl. Yeah. So, um, awesome time. Uh, they got a great team. I know a lot of those kids on the team. Great kids. Going to be fun. Fairy tale. Uh, yeah. It, it's yeah. It's one. I'm sorry, I'm going long. It's just one of those <laughs> one of those games that will probably you know come down to the last couple of minutes probably. Yeah. Well, Brett, uh, Matt took your time I there. I was just so going to say gonna, that. Gonna, <laughs> he said he, said, ni he said nice things though about yeah. you, so you don't even have to talk trash. Uh, but we're going to continue job. the conversation. Yeah, we're going to continue the conversation yeah. after this break. While we've got Matt, Fox Sports main college football analyst, we got to ask a couple college football questions. Stay with us. More after this. <laughs> We are back with Brett Zabrowski and Matt Leinert, uh, the coaches of a big game at SoFi Stadium tomorrow featuring Southern California youth. And Matt Leinert, of course, uh, is one of the greatest uh, quarterbacks in the history of college football. I got to cheer for him while I was at USC, fight on to him. Uh, and is now one of the lead uh, college football analysts on Fox Sports every Saturday right here on Fox 11. Uh, I just want to talk for a moment about College Pig. Uh, last year, such a weird year. You guys did a little traveling, but we had empty stadiums. It just didn't feel right. What was that like, and, and what, how pumped are you for, for this season and being able to get out on the road again? Yeah, well, well first of all, uh, you know, I just want to say how fortunate I, I think we were to have a season. You know, I, I think we all whether you cover college football or not, you just, you felt so bad for the kids that were being affected that couldn't play. Um, so, you know, to have a football season and be able to cover it was a blessing, obviously, during a COVID year and just during a very strange year. But I'll tell you, we went, you know, we went, our first road trip was to Ohio State versus Nebraska. Not a single fan in the stadium. I think there's 100, 100 fans uh, for family members. It felt like a scrimmage. It was really bizarre. And uh, we traveled in another time, I think, for the Big Ten championship game in Indianapolis and again, an empty stadium. So for this year, you know, for a big new kickoff, we're, we're traveling the first five, six weeks of the season. Uh, we got some big games and we open up with Ohio State, Minnesota. Then we go to Ohio State for Oregon. I think we go to Madison, Wisconsin for Wisconsin, Penn State, full stadiums full crowd the whole you know what makes college football guys so special as mm. we know is just is really the fans yeah. the traditions the the stadiums and all that so super fired up I, I i can't wait you know we we lost urban meyer our, our former colleague to the jags but we, we brought in coach bob stoops who's a tremendous addition a great guy um will be will be great on the show along with reggie and, and brady quinn and rob stone and, so and, and super bob, fired up and bob stoops perhaps best known for losing 55 to 19 to USC uh, in the Orange Bowl when Matt, uh, a year that Matt won the Heisman Trophy and USC Alan, won the Alan national Strickland. championship. Oh, and I, I was there Alex. at that game. It was one of the great highlights of my life. Okay, Marla, go ahead. Okay, uh, Brett, <laughs> what do you make of your buddy as an analyst? You sit home and you watch him, and what's it like? Matt, Matt's awesome. You know, it's, it's just great because I know Matt is, is, is just, just my buddy, right? And so then you see him on TV and. And then we'll be watching him, and my wife will be like, isn't that kind of cool that we know Matt Leiner? Um, <laughs> it's, you know, he's, you know he's, a, he's just a great, I mean, he really is a great analyst. Um, I mean, insanely good football player and an excellent football coach. And so, um, yeah, I, I, I've always just, when I watch him, when, when I watch him, we first got started going too. Um, I was just really impressed. So I think Matt will go as far as he wants to go in whatever he wants to do. And right now, it seems like he wants to do it. All right. So real quick analysis, Matt. Trojans, Bruins, break it down 30, 40 seconds. Trojans, Bruins? No. Who? Yeah. Give us a little preview of this season. What should we expect from those teams? Oh, um, all right. So, well, you, first of all, USC, you know, obviously Keaton Slovis is back. 
Uh, look, the Pac-12, I, I don't know. I don't know who's going to come out. Oregon maybe, but USC will be good. Uh, Drake London, guys, emerging star receiver. Um, they have the number one uh, DN coming in and, and, and Foreman coming into college football next year. Um, so, so there's some pieces there. I think USC is going to be good. They're going to score points. Uh, and then UCLA, you know, UCLA is one of those teams in the last couple of years. I know people aren't, I think, happy maybe with what Chip has done. But, you know, DTR is a really good athlete. A quarterback got a chance actually to yeah. hang out with him a couple weeks ago at a QB retreat. All right. Uh, great dude. Um, so uh, it, it'll be interesting. But, I'm, you know. We'll beat them. It's going to be fun. All Thank right. you both for being with us. BCS Championships at SoFi Stadium tomorrow. Thank you. Oh, Steelers versus Trojans. <laughs> and that's that's uh -oh. the, the info. I love it. I love it.